vida. Eu quero tu coração. Started from hell, now we invaded each other's space. Out of eye, face to face. Together we conquer fear. But are you worthy of me? Can you handle me? Will you be there for me when I can't speak? Can I trust me to trust you when the casket drops, when the clock stops? What you gonna do when they come for you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Question. If I die before you wait, will you cry for me? Cry for me? Cry for me? Cry for me? Question. If you die before I wait, will you wait for me? Wait for me? Wait for me? On the other side. True love never dies. True love never dies. Love is a magnet. My heart was still. I was unattracted, but against my will, I opened up to ya. But I feel no shame. Right or die for ya. Will you do the same? Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Miss Terry. Have you ever wondered why life has so many twists and turns with the people you love? Well, my life is no different. It all started when my best friend decided to move back to California to get away from her ex-husband. And he's a baller, I might add. That's a professional football player for those of you who are new to the game. And why she would give up on all of that money and fame baffles me. But let me tell you how it all plays out. Yes, there is nothing like going to the spa. It's not because the spa is therapy for the mom. Hey, Uncle Sax. Hi, Uncle Sax. Did you get a chance to fix the washing machine? Sure did. That'd be twenty dollars. You smell that? Yes. And it smells like weed. weed. That ain't weed. Oh, uh, that's my new cologne, Chronic. You need to stop smoking that because it's bad for your health. I've been smoking this since you was just a twinkle in your daddy's eye. And it ain't killed me yet. Besides, y'all need to try it. Loosen up. You wound too tight. At your age, you should try to get tight with God. Don't start that God stuff with me. I hear enough of that from your mom. We're trying to help you. We love you. You all love me, huh? Yes. Let me buy $20. For what? So I can get me another bag of that Crisani. You don't need that. All you need is the love of your family. Yeah. But love don't pay no bills. Try telling the light man, I ain't got the love money for your bill, but I got some love for you. Close your eyes. What? Both of you. Close your eyes. That's what love looks like when you don't pay your light bill. Pitch black. Beside the point. You should know better than to mess with that stuff. Last I checked, I was grown. I think that means I can do as I please. I was still coming to get you soon. Yes, and I know you don't want her to smell that on you. What time is she coming? Oh, hell! <laughs> God is good all the time. Hi, Mama. Hey, babies. How are you? 
Okay. Here's the food I made for you. I'll put it in the warmer. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that smells good. The blood of Jesus. Saxby, Leviticus, Theophilus, Payne Jr. That mess will be the death of you yet. Calm down, Lou. We all gotta die one day. And when I do, it'll be all right. Cause I did it my way. To get to heaven, you gotta do it God's way or perish in the fiery pits of hell. Don't start that God stuff with me. You ain't always been saved. Well, I am now and I can't keep it to myself. Please, woman. I'm a soldier. I fought in Nam, and I don't need nothing but what I had back then. That's courage and know-how. And you wouldn't have that if it wasn't for the grace of God on your life. Mm, yeah, whatever. Whatever, nothing. Ain't nobody say nothing when you use all mama's insurance money for that church building fund. The money I pay God ain't none of your business. And the church ain't been built yet. Where the church, Lou? Where the church? You know, I'm leaving before you get my sugar up. Not to be so saved. Y'all selfish as hell. You know what? Say what you want. That's okay. As long as I'm pleasing in God's eyes and I'm on my way to heaven. Yeah, well, I hope they got Jenny Craig in heaven. Because you gonna need it. You got some nerve. What? I'm sexy with mine. Sexy won't get you into heaven. Yeah, well, neither will eating everything in sight. Now, I don't read the Bible, but I don't recall a scripture that says you should get saved or die trying. How can you say something like that, Saxby? It's the truth! That's what's wrong with most people. Y'all want everything sugar-coated. Make it easier for you to swallow. Well, I ain't the one. I'm gonna give it to you straight. No I'm not concerned with that right now, because I'm in God's hands, and my God, hallelujah, can do anything but fail. You say he can do anything. Anything. Um, excuse me, God. Can I just ask you this one thing, and I won't ask you for anything else. Can you please make all these people disappear? You know what? See? That's something God can't even do. You know, sorry God never gave you the sense he gave a flea, but I'm not even going to let you get to me today. I'm on my way to church, and I want to be on time. Before we go, can we stop by the store so I can play my numbers? If I win, I'll give you some money for your offering. Ain't nobody going to waste any time playing on a jackpot you ain't never gonna hit. Ain't no different from you giving your tithes to that jack -led preacher. And there's a special place for people like you who talk about the man of God like that. Look. What, Junior? Let me buy $20. Come on here, Saxby. Cammy, the water's on the fire and the potatoes are boiling. I'm coming. Yeah. See, if it weren't for Mary Jo, I'd go insane dealing with that broad. Who is Mary Jo? Mary Jo Warner. Sour Diesel. OG Purple. That sticky, icky, icky. You are something else. You better get out of here before Aunt Lucille leaves you. Oh. Those two are the real live Fred Sanford and Aunt Esther. Maybe some more. <laughs> but you know what? I wouldn't trade them for the world. Yeah. Hey, I don't remember leaving those here. Oh, Terry bought those early today. Oh, that was nice of her. Oh, Paula. Come on. <laughs> so how did Bo handle it when you left? Well, he does everything else. You'll be back. You'll never find another man like me. Go on, leave. Is there something you're not telling me? No, 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 nothing more than I already did. But you know, Bo, <laughs> he doesn't know how to separate the playing field from reality. Yeah, Mr. Bo Kinder, Big Daddy. What's up, baby girl? <laughs> hey, you know what? We should go to Victor Neal's listening party tonight. Well, I guess I should go out to get him off my mind. Yeah. And Victor can help you do that. Hey, 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 I'm really not trying to go there right now. Come on now, just because I don't want to be bothered with men doesn't mean you shouldn't. Really now? 
Girl, please, I'm waiting on God to send me a man. And I really don't feel like going out to hear somebody sing anyway. It's just a night out. Okay. For you, I'll go. Good. <laughs> Be there on time. <laughs> I, I don't even have anything to wear. Just pick a color. I'm sure you've got something in your closet. You just had to pick tonight, right? When everything I had to do is not even done. Whatever you have that hasn't gotten done already can wait until tomorrow. You are a bad influence. Now you know you're not going to do anything but mope around this house thinking about the past if you stay in. Oh, I guess you're right. You know what? Tonight, I am going to go out and I'm going to let my hair yes. down. <laughs> yes, come on. You deserve it. I do. You're right. I do deserve it. Now, Gammy, what could have possibly gone wrong for you to separate from that money? I mean, man. Trust me, enough. Mm. Where were you? We waited oh. all night. I know, I know. Last night, girl, I fell asleep. I know I should have called, but uh, next time I promise to do that, okay? Well, you missed a great show. Victor sang his heart out. Oh, oh but don't worry. I invited him over. What? Oh. Oh, hi, Terry. Bye, Terry. Paula. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted, I know you parted with at least half. Half the house, half the car, half the dog, half of something. There's more to relationships than getting half. I know you used to ride that little short yellow school bus when you was a kid and all, but honey, romance without finance is a what nuisance. Please believe it. <laughs> all right, ladies, okay, okay, okay. I haven't made any decisions yet, but I promise once I decide something, I'll let my girls know. How's that? If you need any help, just let me know. Because my girlfriend Cynthia's a lawyer and she specializes in getting hair. Okay, Terry, if things get out of hand, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. Because it ain't no need for a sister to be struggling with all these cash money suckers running around here bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come in. Hey, ladies. I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Oh, no, not at all. Listen, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that um, I missed your show last night. No, nah, that's all right. I mean, that, it'll be a next time. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my girl, Terry. Terry, this is Victor, Victor, Terry. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Hey, I hope you don't mind me coming over like this. Oh. No, 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 not at all. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, Mr. Victor, do you have any friends? <laughs> Terry, please. Do they have any money? I'm just asking. Victor, please excuse her. She's one Budweiser short of an AA. Oh, no, I don't. Trust me, it's cool. I'm used to it. Hmm. Well? Well, I have a few professional partners with a little extra change. Hmm. Professionals, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's professional businessmen. Not pimps, not dope dealers. Yep, and I'm sure they're into classy, professional women. So what y'all trying to say? I'm not classy enough to get a professional man? Uh, do you have to ask that Hold question? up now. I may not have a degree like y'all, but I know plenty of professional men. Doctors, lawyers, accountants, mm. professors, and preachers. Preachers? Oh. That's right, preachers who get they freak on on the regular Come before on. they take it home to wifey. Oh, see, that's why I'm single today. Uh, come on, Terry, don't tell me you mess around with them too. Please, honey, in my hustle, money comes quick. Money comes <laughs> quick. That's a shame. No, that's <laughs> life. So, Victor, tell me, don't you know a few brothers who tipped out on their wives? Well, yeah, but... See? No, 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 but listen. I also know a few sisters who tipped out on their husbands, though. That's beside the point. No. <laughs> no, Terry, that is the point. And to add insult to injury, some people have the unmitigated gall to cheat with somebody who has nothing to offer. If you're going to cheat, at least upgrade to someone who's worth leaving who you're with. Good luck waking up with that pile of money alone. Ain't nobody thinking that long and hard when they cheat. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Your ideal man has a six-figure bank account, home, car, 
and a little extra change to take care of you, right? Ooh, I like him, y'all. <laughs> uh, well, do you have a six-figure bank account? Uh, a house, a car, and a little extra change to take care of a man? No, I don't. But yeah, no, 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 no. You see? That's the problem with a lot of people. They tend to demand things they don't have themselves. Amen. <laughs> now, that makes sense. That might make sense, but that ain't how it is. Listen, dumber and dumbest. I know plenty of women who got just as much as they man, but they're lacking bedroom skills, so they cheat. Hmm. Well, it's been known to happen, so let's keep it real. Okay, well, some people do cheat with no intent of leaving the other person, right? And those lost ones need to think about those few minutes of pleasure. It's really not worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, more power to the people out there getting their groove on, because money ain't got no conscience, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and neither does whatever you can catch. I'll, I'll tell mm. them from the top, no glove, no love. But Come on, Terry, that's that's kind of like running through a fire with a plastic suit on, really. Yeah, you might as well pour some gasoline down your panties and light a match. <laughs> Poof! <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all got y'all views, and I got mine. And I ain't shy about opening up my mouth to take care of me. That ain't all she ain't shy about opening. Well, at least I get some on the regular. Well, that's the problem. You need to get some word on the regular. Whatever, Miss Holier Than Thou. See, this is a conversation that goes on on a regular basis. Yeah, well, as, as long as you guys ain't throwing drinks in each other's faces. As much as I might want to, I have to keep some dignity. Thank you. <sighs> We're all so proud of you, Paula, for taking the high road. You should try it sometime. I leave that to the uppity crew. Victor, I apologize. Some of us aren't as discreet as we should be in front of the <laughs> Trust me, it's cool. I have sisters. Okay, then we agree to disagree. How's no, that? I flat out disagree. <laughs> Say, bro, you know what? Paula? Hey, Kenny. What's up? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I know, I know. Same old, same old, man. I ain't changed like fine wine. Uh, uh, excuse, excuse me, ladies. What you doing here, man? I told you I'd be right out. Okay, I'm still out there. Okay, wipe all that away. Okay, but the limo driver, he tripping. He telling me if I drink the Kawase, he gonna charge us extra. Look, look, stop. Just pay the man. No, oh, but see, that's what I came to holler at you about. What? what? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I had to get mom the money for the rent. You know what I mean? And, you know, the car wash, Obama president. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They not trying to let another brother come up in the game like that. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Not that high. I got you. I got you. Just wait in the car. All right, cool. It's your world. No, it's your world. Ladies, it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. I mean, said I have to get dinner ready for Victor. Lord knows I read menu. <laughs> Been a few months since you seen me. You smell good. <laughs> oh, so you do remember. Big Daddy hard to forget. And this loser boy you stringing along, I see he did a little time before he picked up that Bible. No, you don't know anything about him. I checked him out. Okay. Come on, why don't you just get out of our way, Bo? Why don't you just go? I go. I go so you can have your little romantic evening with your little born again convict. Hey, it's walking up now. I might be back, but don't worry, you'll know. Sometimes you just feel a person. Hey, come on in. Hey. Wow, you look great. Wow, you look beautiful as ever. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, my. You okay? Oh. Shaking like a leaf. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's just, I guess there's a chill in the air. Oh, yeah. Listen, I have some friends who really need your service. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can really use the work. 
Yeah, they can use an honest accountant. That was sweet of you. I mean, considering you don't know my work yet. I don't know. Sometimes you can just feel a person. What's for dinner? Dinner? <laughs> well, I made you the most perfect sandwich. Is that right? <sighs> Listen, I can't wait to taste it. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's just the, um, the onions in my eyes from earlier. Oh, okay. Listen, guess who I ran into today? Who? Bo Kinder. What? Yeah. Super Bowl MVP for the Dragons. Man, he said he has a place not too far from here. Seems like everybody is moving out here. Why are you so uptight? Is it me? No, 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 it's not you. It's not you, you're perfect. I mean, it perfect ex, ex I'm, I'm listening. Have you ever been incarcerated? <laughs> yes, I have. I, I'm sorry I didn't bring that up earlier. No, no. How can you keep something so important like that from me? When I was younger, I, I hung out with some bad people. I did some bad things. It's, listen, I served my time for it. I know, Victor. It's just that you're in the public's eye. And I've been down that road already. So it's kind of hard for me not to judge you. You don't have to apologize. You're entitled to your concern. All right. How about this? How about I take you out to dinner and we talk about this? Why don't we? Hello. Hey, how's my favorite man of God? What do you think? That's definitely something I would wear. Okay, I am definitely gonna change. No, 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 no. Suit yourself, but you ain't got much time. Now let me just see what Paula brought you. Now you know what? There's more undercover freaks in the church than verses in the Bible. I do not know why she brought that for me. I can think of a few good reasons. Listen, Victor's coming tonight, and he's bringing a friend of his. And before you ask, he's an attorney. I know, I know, I know. Do me a favor, though. Do not go gold digger number one on me, please. An attorney, you say? Hmm. Well, call me Judge Judy, because tonight <laughs> court may be in session, honey. <laughs> okay, your, okay, your honor. Be a lady, and don't get thrown out of your own courtroom for contempt. Aren't I always a lady? You really want me to answer that? Anyway, is he cute? I don't know. I never met him. <sighs> Well, if he look like Scooby-Doo on crack, his wallet will make him look like Denzel. Let me pull out my bag of tricks, because I might take home the Oscar tonight. Don't embarrass me, okay? Peace game, you might learn something. Um, come in. <laughs> wow, you look beautiful. Um, you look dapper yourself, wow. I mean, this is a special night. That it is. Wait a minute, um, where's your friend? Oh, <laughs> there was a slight change of plans. I had to call Kenny. Oh, gosh. What's up, Terry? How are you, Mr. Victor? <laughs> Never been better. Hmm. Come on, man. Oh. oh, hell no! I thought you said she was bringing her cousin. Hey, what's all this yelling about? Oh, Uncle Sax, I'm sorry. We didn't realize you were here. Are y'all having a party and didn't invite me? <laughs> no, but... You're looking like you're having a party yourself. Have a hot date? Man, one of my young tenders is going to listen to some blues tonight. Aren't you a sight for so eyes to see? Miss Terry, words drip from your lips like dew on the leaves after a freshly fallen rain. And the sunlight dances across your silky smooth skin in perfect harmony with your beautiful eyes. Miss some bull. You know. Mr. Sax, you so deep? That's just Sax to you. And I can go deeper, baby. 
uh, behave, Uncle Sachs. This is Terry, and she's practically family. I am behaving. A woman needs to hear the truth every once and again. Don't you agree, fellas? Hey, yeah. Yeah? Excuse me, ladies. Um, I need to talk to the fellas, man to man. In this case, man to boy. What's your name, young blood? The ladies call me Kenny, because I'm the one that's not going to give them a penny. Kenny, haven't you been taught to respect a woman? Yeah, when they respect me. You see, Kenny, 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 see, that's where you're wrong. You have to respect a woman at all times. Respect! That's what's missing with you young bucks these days. You need to be a gentleman whenever a woman is in your presence. And why is that? Women are nurturing, compassionate creatures. Mm -hmm. When a woman ignores you, be nice to her anyway. She may act like she doesn't hear you, but trust me, she's listening. She just wants you to suffer a little while longer. That's the way God made them. Okay, what are you? The ghetto Dr. Ruth? No, I'm a seasoned player. There's been where your little tie behind is trying to go. And I'll help you get there, if you just shut up and listen. Women are like a flower. See, you, they have to be handled with care. You gotta talk to them right, touch them right, to get the best out of them. Sure, that it's not all about connecting with the flesh, but connecting with her mind, and most importantly, her spirit. Tell her what she does for you, and what she does to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she'll always remember that. All a woman can do for me is have my babies, cook my food, and wash my dirty drawers. When's the last time you touched a woman? Who, me? They got my pimp! Wait, what? What? When? When, when, when? With who? Where? Who was I with? Where? You mean where I did it? It's been a while, huh? You know what? Yeah, just don't tell nobody. See, Kenny, <sighs> part of your problem is you don't know how to treat a woman. Real women can't be handled the same way as these little young girls are still wet behind the ears. You know what? I don't need a real woman. I need a woman that's not going to ask me too many questions and do exactly what I tell her to. Kenny, 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 come on. We're serious. I'm serious. Man, you need to find a woman to build a kingdom with. Because getting old alone is for the birds. You know what? You a big old player throwing up a smoke screen. See, I know what this is. But I play the game to build, not steal. You young cats got the game all twisted. You got to build a kingdom with a woman, not steal her heart and destroy it. If you don't want her, don't sell her pipe dreams or lead her on. Just leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? No, 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 no. I respect that, man. Come clean. He going out with a hood rat. Five gold teeth in a mouth. Nicknamed Summer. Summer teeth over there, Summer teeth over there. Yeah, come on. You wrong, man. What? Did you hear anything the man said? What? Yeah. <laughs> man, oh, let me tell you something. Fellas, meet Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Uh, tell Cammy not to wait up. Okay. And the famous words of Biggie Smalls, I'm not only the client, I'm a player president. Get at me, dog. But I forgot to do something, and I'm going to need some help. Can you yeah. just help me? I'll give you a hand. Really? Thank you. Serious. You don't leave me out here with Beelzebub. Come on, man. Don't leave me out here with the devil. Oh. Caught you. No, I caught you. No, I caught you. I knew it. I knew this pimping was gonna break you down. <laughs> Mercy. Girl, you've been eating well. Mm. You've been on a little video. Mm-mm, but you kinda cute. What? I said you kinda cute. You think so? Mm-hmm. You know what? If you just update your image a little bit, any woman would love to go out with you. You don't think I'm sexy? I do think you're sexy. You know, the women have told me I look a little bit like Denzel from the side. See that there? You know what? I think you have nice ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but you update that image. Yeah, I sure would go out with you. 
You can just update it just a little bit? Just a little bit. Uh, I ain't even gonna tell a lie. I have been kind of like in a slump lately. You know what I mean? I think I should just update it just a touch, huh? Mm-hmm. Relax. You're too tense. Don't you think it feel good? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You like that, Bobby? Mm -hmm. Get a Taco Bell, mommy. When you like it, and mommy gave you a nice, mm -hmm. big, juicy kiss. Yeah, we like it, like it, we like it very much. Well, pick her up, Poppy. Here it comes. Don't you ever doubt the power of a woman. Now, you owe me. I owe you what? I like my lobster expensive and my steak well done. I'll be in the car. Just like I said, sick. What? Tell Paula I'm gonna need her to turn my water into wine right now since she thinks she Jesus. Alone? Oh, I know what that alone means. Miss Gammy got a little freak in the too. Go on, girl, work that thing. Mama didn't raise no fool. Playing hard to get don't work like it used to. You look up and your best friend will be giving him a shot. Slow, and he seems to understand. Hmm. Wait a minute, is he married? How do you know? Have you done your research? Yeah, research. Does he have good credit? Uh, who does he bank with? Mm-hmm, uh, don't worry, I'll pull his credit report for you. What kind of car did you say he drives? And mm -hmm. what's his mother's maiden name? Happiness? Girl, you can buy happiness after you get the house, the money, and the car. I know I got to go, because you speaking a language I do not understand. No, broke English. I just wanted to show you that I support your take charge of my life attitude. You just make sure you don't let nobody else get a piece of my pie. Yeah, whatever. I get this little ploy two weeks. Nah, in fact, I give it one week before you come crawling back to Big Daddy. We celebrate V Day on the 15th. Did you know he go visit his dying grandmother in the Virgin Islands on Valentine's Day every year alone? Mm hmm. I don't be posting nothing all up on social media. You know, we got a low key kind of love. So come and hold me down. Moving real fast, then take it slow. Don't want nobody stop my flow. Me and my girls come to shut it down. Moving my hips from side to side. This cake makes me feel like I'm sinning. Well, you may think it's the devil's food, but it was made with hands that love Jesus. Do you want another piece? Oh, no, ma'am, I'm done. Well, I think I'll go and get myself another. Now, Mama, think about your blood sugar. Did you take your medication this morning? Yes, I did. Sometimes I wonder if having a daughter who's a doctor is any good. Well, it is, because I can take care of you better. And besides, I could have been just like... God is good. All the time. <laughs> oh, Miss Lucille, that was good. I can eat like that every day. Thank you so much, baby. But if I was to give you that kind of food all the time, you'd end up not fitting your sister's clothes. Oh, trust me, Mom. She'll squeeze her way into them. <laughs> Hold up. I didn't look no different than some of them women sitting on the front row at church. You know, you got a point. It's nothing but a fashion show up in there with everybody trying to get the bishop's attention, and he ain't having any of that. If he's married, it's less obligation and no overhead. Okay. Let me tell you young women what I know. It ain't no fun being with somebody else's husband. Those lonely nights when you want him next to you, you can't have him. And besides, it's not godly, and God don't bless no mess. You better say that, Mama. <laughs> you young girls need to wise up. I don't know about them, but I got the game and gone. All I know is know your worth. Because if you don't, you'll fall for every trick in the book. Hold up now. No disrespect, but this is the new millennium and some of us are doing the tricking. At the end of the day, you still don't have what you want. The trick is on you. I've been there, done that, put on the cap and the t-shirt and the soundtrack. Oh. Hello? Hey, baby, I was just texting you. 
Hey, Mama, I talked to Daddy the other day. Oh, uh, yeah? How's he doing? He's good, ready to retire. <laughs> he said he wanted me to help him find a house. Oh, really? Yeah, he said it's not the same. Well, people do change, and I guess this is his season. I think he wants you back. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm serious. He's been asking about you a lot lately. Well, people don't always get what they want. Mom, can I ask you a personal question? Sure, go ahead. Do you still love Daddy? Of course I do. I love all of God's children. No, the way a wife loves her husband. You know, you and Daddy never got divorced, so technically you're still married. Honey, do you, do you want anything else before I leave? No, ma'am, I'm good. Uh, my baby's taking me out tonight. Oh, I sure would like to meet him someday. Which one? You know what? Invite him over to one of my Sunday dinners. Well, you know what? That might be kind of hard since he's so busy. Oh, really? So exactly what does he do? Oh, he's a um, foot specialist. He's been busy getting his private practice off the ground. He specializes in uh, feet, you know, a phenomatologist. A uh, uh, who? A phenomatologist, someone who works on feet. You mean a podiatrist, Terry? Yeah, one of them. Can he take care of my bunions? <laughs> you know, I can't make any promises, uh, but I'll ask him. Oh, my feet and I sure would appreciate it. Hmm. So what did Mr. Victor have to say? Well, he's going to New Orleans for the music festival, and he asked me if I would go with oh, him. Oh, that would be fun for you. Are you going? I don't know. I told him I'll think about it. Think about it? Girl, you need to be bout it about it. I see I'm gonna have to put you up on game. Game? Uh, uh, what do you know about game? Enough to win the house, the money, and the car. Keep on living, baby. Life will teach you how to lose. Well, until then, uh, uh, uh. Uh, go shorty, it's her birthday. We gonna party like it's her birthday. Oh, I, get out of her, you <laughs> demon. In the name of Jesus. Aunt Lucille, stay saved, stay saved, Aunt Lucille. Stay saved, oh. stay saved. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Paula, please get me to my car before I lose my anointing in here. Yes, oh. Kim, you wanna know what I do about New Orleans, baby? What would you do about New Orleans? I let him rub my neck, my, my back, my, just like that, my neck, my back. Your neck, your back, your what? Belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs>she running late with Victor. She gonna meet us there. Victor? He gonna be there? Yeah. Oh, y'all trying to set a sister up. Take me over to this wig shop right quick. Nobody got time to go to no wig shop? Oh, Hope you don't have us late. Got me stopping off at the wig store and stuff. Doing extra. We gonna be on time. Please believe it. New wig. Who is this? Girl, who are you? You know you're gonna have to wait to put this on, right? Why do I have to wait? Because it's your birthday gift. Wow, you remembered that. Why do you seem surprised? 
Because most men don't remember things like that. Well, I do. Well, I do too. I mean, I'll wait. And because you're worth it. Spanning order gonna stop me, and little piece of paper gonna stop Big Dad? Let's not make this any harder than it has been, okay, Bo? Just do a favor, leave, okay? Just leave. Look, Bo, you told me this would be over by now. I did everything you asked me to do. Bo, do you hear me? I know he didn't just hang up on me. Happy anniversary, baby girl. Too bad it's your last. And gave her the audacity to try to leave me after everything I done for her. <laughs> done for me? All you ever did was use me. Shut up before I pop you in your eye again. Bo, you don't have to do this. Shut up! No! You shut up, Bo! All that ranting and raving is not gonna work anymore, Bo. That little girl you used to use and abuse, she don't live in here anymore. I'm a woman now, okay? So you want to hit me? You want to hit me, Bo? Come on! Because there's nothing between us but air and opportunity. And there goes the air. It's like that, huh? Yeah. It's just like that, Bo. I'm tired of you, so get out! Get out of my house! Not today, player. Get out! I got this. You and what on me? Man. She ain't worth it no way, man. No, you ain't worth it. Now get out of you gonna see just what I'm talking about. You ain't getting nothing but my leftovers, man. So every time you kiss her, think of me. She will. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yeah, yes I do, yes I do. 
Mm -hmm. be your best friend. So what you fly me all the way to St. Louis for? Well, I got a proposition for you. Oh yeah, what does that entail? You like money? You know I like money. You like diamonds? You know I like diamonds. Well, your friend stole some money from me. And I need your help getting it back. What you mean? So you found one of my accounts, went in it, took my money, put it somewhere else, and I found out. And I found where it's at, and I'm gonna get it back. Mm. But I need your help. I don't know about that. You know, Cammy is like my best friend. We had practically grew up together. Yeah, that ain't, see, from what I know, you might you might be a better friend than honey she is to you. And it ain't even about her, man. I'm done. I just want my money, and if you like money, I got you. Mm. It ain't like you're trying to kill her or nothing. I just need you to help me get my money back. I'm gonna take care of you. I, I got you. You see, I got you already. Help me, I'll help you back. She did snake me in college that one time. Man, man, I'm sure it's more than that. Listen, this ain't, it's nothing but money, baby. She ain't even got to know you involved. I just need your help to get it. And I got you. Now, you rolling with me or what? I know how you view me, just like the rest of those holier-than-thou people. But you need to have a little patience. Some of us didn't grow up with their daddy and their mama surrounding them praying for their next little baby step. My daddy didn't even show up till I was 20 years old and was treating me like I was six because he didn't even know me. So, you know what? Don't judge me. Terry, I got a date. Terry, stop. That's no excuse. Look, I am trying to get you to, to see who you are. Don't you know your worth of, without Bo and, and all these men with this money and you're dating and... Do you know who you are? Hey, what's up, baby girl? It's me. Phase one has begun and as soon as this is over, it's going to be me and you just like I promised. It'll only be a couple of weeks tops. Just be patient, sexy. I got you. fall asleep looking through our pictures. Babe, I think you had one too many wine glasses. <laughs> every time you kept turning the page, you kept reliving every moment. And seriously, I, I, I couldn't hang. Well, the pictures did bring back memories. Those first five years, they were more than I could have ever dreamed of. <laughs> just think. We've only just become. Wow. Come here. all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. But God still hears a sinner's prayer.
After all that drama with Bo, I decided that I should do more, give more back to people. And I've now become one of the most sought after relationship coaches you probably want to talk to about your problems. Hi, I'm Dr. Terry, your new relationship coach. So feel free to contact me at any time with any problems that you need solved. Oh, is this interrupting my commercial? My techniques work and my methods have been proven. So yes, give Dr. Terry a call. I'll be happy to help. But as you can see, knowing your worth is much more than what's in your bank account. Nobody or nothing can make you happy until you're happy with yourself first. Love yourself so you know exactly what you deserve. A monk from down under Where I back to a man To make your boy wonder They wonder why your boy Speak mainly about the come up He about that better life tip Why don't he bloody shut up An elevator's broken So I'm mobbing up the staircase I had to leave yesteryear To make it here today Entrepreneur from a newer maneuver To change spot Went from a snoozer to a doer I do it to change block And now I'm eating better Living better Having better days Looking better Feeling better All my bills paid Not saying I'm better than you But I'm better at what I do And I'm better than what I would Cause that bitch I ain't have a a better body, better health, better product, better sales And I'm doing a little better than the hand that was there A better mind, a better grind, a little better with these rhymes Getting better with every try, I'm better off when I shine Your mammy now. What you know about nothing in the pantry now? So hungry, you going over Granny's house. What you know about something like low income housing? Why you on stage rocking 10,000 a year? What you know about being a bachelor? Only cause your pockets say that you have to. Nothing. But when your money stacks is right, what you know about living the life? What you know about copping the whip, jewels, and ice? You ain't need it, but you got it, cause it's what you like. What you know about everybody looking for handouts? But when it's my loot, better get your hand out. What you know about being a man now? Pillsbury though, steady pulling them grands out. I open up my wallet.
Has Mr. Perfect proposed yet? He can see things that others can't. What? Loser boy you running around with, he ain't so innocent either. I see he found Jesus when he went in there. <laughs> 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 what? We can't oh, say nigga. Oh, did I say nigga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> To look at one of my uh, uh, one of my feet, I've got a bunion over there that keeps bothering me. I've tried to get it taken care of, but I such a whore. <laughs> can, can you do it again? Because I need to make sure I get the rain. Yes, you are. Shut up. Little family holding a hand, praying for every walk you took. Away. Terry, stop! I need to get my. Oh, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Judge is your cure. Oh my God! Because <laughs> I don't get it. I'm Dr. Terry, your new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet little baby on the set. <laughs> 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 Hey, baby, take off your coat. No, no. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have on a coat, a woodwear coat. It's take off your jacket. jacket. Oh, my God. Take off your jacket. Relax. Okay. While I make you something to drink. You make sure I look <clears throat> skinny, Joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, action. And, and God. Action, action. <laughs> Action, action. You still rolling. Amber's still rolling. Okay. Um. <laughs>